What is going on, everybody? You got the crazy dog here. And I'm going to do my finals prediction slash analysis. So, this is a pretty much like last year. Warriors, Cavs. Now, this time, though, the Cavs have the big three alive and well. Last year, we had to rely on Delavadova and Moskov. And even James Jones for a while. Yeah, James Jones. Remember him? Making his sixth sixth finals appearance. Wow, man. That's crazy. So anyways, let's look and see how each team did to get here. Starting in the Eastern Conference, the Cavs had the Pistons in the first round. That was a good series. Cavs just too much for the Pistons. As I expected, they would sweep them. Some were saying they could win in five, but no, they won in four. Barely. Thanks to a missed Reggie Jackson shot, as time expired, we won the series in four. Waited for the Atlanta series to finish up. Faced Atlanta, who had just disposed of Boston. So, again, Boston goes out in the first round. Now... For this one, a lot of people thought Atlanta was going to be much like they were last year. This team was not that good, though. And it showed because we swept them again. In fact, Atlanta has never beaten the Cavs in the playoffs in history. Think about that. Since we drafted LeBron, the, the Hawks have never beaten the Cavs. 0-12. Or 0-9 or whatever. Yeah, it's 0-12, yeah. Three times, yeah, it's 0-12. Even more when you count, like, regular season. But, yeah, 0-12 in the playoffs against a team. Wow. Three sweeps. Woo-wee. So, we dispose of the Hawks. You know, sweep them away. I went to the Game 4 a watch party. That was fun. Uh, then, in the third round, we took on the Raptors. And as expected, the Raptors gave us a good old reality check. We gave we gave them a nice little right hand hook in the mouth, right in the kisser, in the first two games. Beat them by like 30 plus points both games. Then game three, we kind of had trouble getting into Canada because Canadian customs. I don't know that whole debacle, but Canadian customs would not let the Cavs into Canada. They finally got in, and Canada slapped us in the face for two games. Miss Mac Biombo showed up, whereas Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love were left at the airport. So, yeah, it was 2-2, but then the Cavs decided to wake the heck up. They went, came back to Cleveland, destroyed the Raptors, picked up Thompson and Love from the airport, who apparently had been waiting in the terminal the whole time, because they showed up in Game 6, and they made an impact, and we beat them a big, another big big win in Toronto. Our first one of the year, actually. So that was, that was good to see. So now we enter our second straight finals. On the other side, though, you have the Warriors, the defending champions. Now, unlike the Cavs, they had not gone through a single sweep yet. They had to deal with the Rockets in the first round. Now, it was it looked like it was going to be an easy series. Until, I think it was near halftime of game two or game three, where Steph Curry went down. And all the Steph Curry supporters and all the Golden State Warriors fans were starting to panic. How long is he going to be out? How bad was the injury? That really showed me a flashback of Kyrie Irving. Because Irving hurt himself, I think it was in the second round. Didn't really play much. Didn't really play much in the third round either. And we all know what happened to him in the finals last year. So Curry, some are saying he's healthy, some are saying he's not. I don't know. We'll wait and see. But anyways, they took care of the Rockets in five. They advanced to face the Trailblazers, who actually are a pretty good team. Again, remember, they lost four of their five starters from last year. Dame Lillard was the only one returning, and they really gave, they put up a fight. But, again, the Warriors outclassed 
The Trailblazers beating them again in five. Now in the Western Conference Finals is where the Warriors were going to meet their biggest challenge, whether it would be the Spurs or the Thunder. And lo and behold, it would be the Thunder. Now, I think, uh, you know, I, I actually thought the Thunder were going to win in six because they just had all that good talent. Durant and Westbrook were looking great. Adams and Kanner were ruling the inside. Ibaka was a beast. Deion Waiters is Deion Waiters. <laughs> yeah, he sucks. But uh, Warriors encountered an immense amount of adversity being down 3-1. to one. But if you watched the Thunder during the season, they had given up, I believe, what is it, 10-plus fourth-quarter leads. They were what we'd call Choke KC. Choke KC. Yeah. So, everyone thought, you know, Thunder were going to take care of it in five or six. And then, game, what was it, five came around, Warriors won, 3-2. Game six came around, Warriors won. Game seven, Warriors won. So, that is the ultimate choke job for the Thunder. And, of course, now we got a rematch. And if you haven't noticed by now, you should know who I'm rooting for. My Cavaliers, of course. So, I think this series would be fun. Now, another note um, I just learned. Draymond Green needs one more flagrant or two more techs, technical fouls, to be given a suspension. Now, that means if you are Draymond Green, you gotta, you'll gotta be walking on the edge because you do something stupid like another knee or something like that, knee to the face, an elbow to the groin, an elbow to the face, or a knee to the groin, for that matter, you can get suspended. And you can, it could be like, you know, game three or whatever, you know, game four or five. You could be losing three games to one and get suspended. You don't know. Again, anything can happen, though. Should be a good series. Kyrie Irving, you know, is going to be that bad man that, he always, that, he's, that he's known to be. Scoring a lot. Distributing. Kevin Love will probably show up this series. It's going to be, it's going to be good to watch. J.R. Smith will probably show up this series, unlike last year when he didn't really show up at all. He just kind of wore himself out. Phased out of the playoffs. Channing Frye should be an X factor, as should Iman Shumpert for the Cavs. For the Warriors, you really got to look. Andre Iguodala, Harrison Barnes, Jamon Green, even Anderson Verizal will be an X factor in this series, possibly. Wouldn't that be something? Anderson Verizal's in the game. LeBron goes for a dunk and he dunks on Verizal. Who would have ever thought you'd see that? LeBron dunking on Verizal. Oh, that would be something. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. Um, but I think the series will probably go six. I think it'll be Cavs in six. be a very close series. Now, am I going to say any of these games are going to be blowouts? No. They're all going to be tough. We may even have another repeat of last year where we have two straight overtime games. But you just don't know. I mean, as long as you have LeBron, you have a chance. And there's that chance LeBron could take over at any point in this series. And you're not going to stop LeBron when he's in that mode of just taking over a series. Because he plays good, Kyrie plays good, and Love plays good. They're, not, you know, they're very hard to stop. And then you got Channing Fry, you got Richard Jefferson, you got, you know, James Jones could even step in. You never know. Mo Williams making his return to the finals. Of course, he made the finals with the Cavs. I think it, I think it was with the Cavs. I'm sorry, no, he wasn't with the Cavs. No, he wasn't with the Cavs, okay. I apologize with that one, but, hey, you know, Richard Jefferson's returning for the only the second time. I think he had, like, a 13-year drought, though. But, like I said, but I said, you know, I'm watching ESPN right now, and everyone is not giving the Cavs a chance. But, What's going to wind up happening is if the Cavs do somehow pull this series out, the whole city of Cleveland is going to give a good old ha-ha to every single reporter, analyst, 
or, you know, person in general who doubted the Cavs and said, oh, the Warriors are going to win. There's even people out there saying the Warriors are going to win in five. Those people should, like, give, be given a reality check. Do you really think LeBron will let his team go down in five games? Really? We played with LeBron. We played. We pretty much played with a JV team last year with LeBron, and we won two games. What are we gonna do when we have the big three? And then we have some good shooters too. Oh, but Tristan Thompson can't rebound. Yeah. Oh my God. I could literally just go on a big old rant about how much I hate the Warriors. The media has blown the Warriors up the past two years. I don't think the Heat got this much attention when they were winning. <laughs> Man. You know, I can get to I'm gonna get to another video about just about the Warriors in a little bit here, but uh that's going to do it for this. I say Cavs in six. LeBron will be the MVP. Or Kyrie Irving. I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, I think the Cavs, I think LeBron will take over at one po some point in this series. And you're not going to stop him. He's just going to victimize poor little old Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, again, call me that crazy Cleveland Cavs fan, right? I mean, not like, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard anything like that before. Yeah, but I think it's going to be a fun series, though. No matter what, it's going to be a fun series. But I am going to get going now. I'm Crazy Dog 99 and I'm out.